What's going on guys? Welcome to World of Reefs vlog here in Longwood, Florida. My name is Jed, if you're new to the channel. Uh, this week on the vlog, I, uh, if you saw in the title, I got some palytoxin in my eye. I'm doing great. Uh, built a stand, you know, a bunch of different things in the vlog, so I hope you guys enjoy. So it's another one of those days where it's not very busy. I got bored, so... I built another stand, uh, kind of the same process I did on the last one. I'll show you guys real quick. It's actually a better cabinet for it. I gotta clean underneath, but you can see this cabinet compared to one, the other one we had, which was just one door. It says two doors, so it gives a nice big open space. You can see two by four, cut in, pretty solid. I screwed it right into the front there. And we just got some plywood on top. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not going anywhere. And it's not, it's not a big stand either. It's not a big stand, so the weight of whatever tank goes onto it is not gonna be incredibly big. Um, so I'm not too worried about putting like seven supports in there or whatever, like I, it's gonna hold whatever I need it to. But uh, I think we're gonna sell this one. I'll paint it all black and nice, and we'll sell it. Um, just again, using like the cabinets that were back here. Uh, I got one more over here. I just gotta get some more wood to do the exact same thing that I'll do. It's the same, same cabinet, same doors, same dimensions, everything. I'm just gonna do that one. You know, it's kind of a DIY, reuse and recycle. Uh, instead of just throwing these out, like. We had to a couple pieces because there's just no, no use for them. Um, but you know, these like, we can touch up and sell and they'll be perfectly fine. So I haven't posted about this in a while, but the, the GSP that I was trying to grow in the back of the RAS tank, apparently the RAS is like playing with it a lot. So I've had to re-glue this thing like seven times. One of them stays, one of them has fallen. I kind of forgot about it. So I think the RAS have just kicked it into the sand at this point and the other one just kind of been sitting on the sand bed so i finally re-glued the one up top that one that's the one i re-glued that one stayed steady um i thought i was gonna go pick at it again i was gonna be real mad it, it is that ras that i uh, keeps picking at it and knocking them off but uh so that's that's the new start so before i got into aquariums uh well i guess i've been kind of in aquarium since I was like six years old. Uh, but I didn't really get into it, into it till probably, I was about 13. Um, but I used to have a bunch of reptiles. Like that's what I was into. I was mass, I had a whole reptile room in my house. Um, so I still have all these empty tanks from that. So I was like, you know what? They're, they're gonna hold water. Might as well bring them to the shop. So I have this 20 long right here that I'm gonna plumb. I'll probably just get a hang-on overflow, which I know isn't amazing, uh, but it's probably gonna be the easiest. Uh, but I might drill it, we'll see. And then I have this little like three to five gallon tank that I now have a sock for. I have, this is the screw, it'll hold it in. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna turn this into a sump. Uh, I, was, I was calling it like a micro system. It's not that small. So it's gonna be like a little nano, you know, plumbed system, which is, you know, it's pretty cool, I guess. So just another board project around the shop, you know, just staying active, staying, doing something, um, you know, setting up another display tank probably. So we just had something really cool happen here at the shop. This little girl, she comes in here probably once a week with her dad and they got a long nose hawk fish from us I think about two weeks ago now, and that's all she can talk about. Like every time she comes in, that's all she talks about. So this time they came in and she brought us a little something. So yeah, I think kids that make, uh, do little drawings like that, will post them up on the wall here. Yeah, so she brought us in this photo, the long nose hot fish, she named it Peppermint. Um, so we're gonna do this entire wall. I had not even thought about this before, but it gave me the idea. So if you guys wanna send something in, uh, you can do that. Or if you wanna come into the store, 
So if you want to send something in, send it to 2100 North Ronald Reagan Boulevard, Longwood, Florida. Our unit is 1020. Um, or you, again, you can just bring it into the shop. And if you want to see your artwork on the wall, uh, obviously make it saltwater themed. Don't just like draw like you playing basketball or something. Like make it fish themed, coral themed, saltwater themed in any way. Um, and we'll put it on this wall. And you can, whenever you come into the store, uh, you come and see it. You'll see it on the YouTube channel. So uh, yeah. Hey. Me again, um, sitting on the floor, and a lot of sawdust. Uh, so basically what I'm doing, this old file cabinet, I'm gonna take these bottom two drawers off. That's better. I'm gonna take these bottom two drawers off. Um, I'm gonna cut out this brace right here, and I'm gonna do kind of a DIY door instead. Um, so that way I can fit something under here. So we're gonna keep Top two drawers. This one's full of dust. Put a top on it. And we'll probably put the 20 gallon on top of this. It's gonna overhang a little bit. Um, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I think I'm just gonna build a bigger top. Maybe we'll just go back with it. Uh, so it's still clean up front. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Cause it's like six inches I gotta find. Um, but I think it'd be a really cool top for this. Um, might do something other than plywood on top to make it look a little cleaner. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna convert this. So we're gonna have the two drawers up top, put whatever you want, and then do these bottom two. And I'm gonna put this system into the office. So uh, just kind of, so that the plan is right now. Bam, okay. So both the bottom drawers are out. Now I'm gonna cut out this bar um, and I'll show you where I go from there. Uh, I gotta vacuum all the sawdust out, um, and then I'm gonna cut. I think I'm gonna cut a decent square in the back, just to have access to it, um, or at least where the pipe's gonna run down into it. So yeah. So <clears throat> we have now cut out that bar. You can see here. I'm gonna go through and sand that. But now I have this total open space that five gallon tank would, or three gallon tank is easily gonna slide in here. Um, and yeah, we're well, keeping the drawers up top again, sand this down, and uh, now I'm just gonna make the door for it. As you can see now, it is one big door. It's kind of a DIY, just made a plate in the back screwed all in and nothing fancy or complicated but now we got the door i don't have any hinges right now so we have to wait a couple days to do that uh but yeah this is the progress so far so as you can see it fits right in just like that I'm gonna sand down the side and repaint that so you don't see that when you're looking at it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty seamless. I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, not done yet, but will be soon. I'm gonna say this right now, please do not judge my woodworking skills. The saw that I'm using, like I only got so much control with that. Like it, it's tough to make everything level. Um, this is what I'm working with for the brace. I'm literally utilizing everything that we have in, in the shop. Like the screws that I'm using, the plot, the uh, two by fours I'm using, like I unscrewed some pallets. Like they're coming off of pallets. That's how much I'm just using what's around me. Um, like uh, the, none of this is new wood or screws. Like these are all used materials. So I guess recycling is good, but just don't judge the the levelness or the evenness of it but like we're doing the best that i can we're doing the best that i can um so yeah so basically it's going to extend out um again here's the two drawers the empty spot it's going to extend out the counter i think i'm going to have this part right in the center and then just a couple bracing uh, nothing too fancy I think I might put one more brace in the center like in between these two parts just to give it a little extra little extra balance 
Um, but nothing, I'm not going to need too much because it's not a big tank. Most of the, you know, the top's going to take most of the weight anyway. Because um, most of the tank is going to be on top of the, the original cabinet. So really this is just a hang off. It's going to be a desk. Um, it's going to be pretty nice, I think. Um, obviously I'm going to cover it up. Wow, I really got a bad splinter in my hand. Uh, um, but yeah, it's coming along, coming along. What is going on, guys? I am currently headed to the eye doctor because I woke up this morning with severe irritation in my eye, and I thought it was pink eye. And then Eric texted me saying, hey, did you rub your eyes after you, know, you were cutting the zoanthids? Then I remembered. Not only did I probably do that, but I remember a specific instance where some sprayed in my eye. I thought it was just the water from the saw, but I remember it burning a little extra. Um, yeah, so palytoxin is one of the most toxic, natural occurring toxins there is on the face of the planet. Um, usually it's not terrible, but getting it in your eye, there are definitely some not great outcomes. Uh, so I'm currently heading to the eye doctor to see what they say. Um, this is just going to be a lesson to me, and I guess a live through my pain and my experiences. Wear goggles when you're cutting zoas. I usually don't. I don't know many people that do. But uh, the risk is always there. It's always a possibility that something can go wrong. Uh, so just protect yourself. Be cautious. I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, what they say. So I just left the doctor. Uh, he said there's not much to worry about right now. Obviously, if it gets worse, either go to the ER or call them. He gave me some um, steroid drops uh, that I got to use like four times a day. Um, so nothing really to worry about. But again, people, protect yourself. Wear some goggles. Learn from my mistakes, because this could be a could have been a lot worse. Because I I know people, or I don't know personally people, but I, I definitely know of cases where it was a lot worse. Uh, I mean, you're dealing with one of the most toxic like toxic things in the ocean. Um, so yeah, wear your goggles, people. Wear your goggles. So I meant to do this last week. Uh, I did this last week, and I was like, oh, I should record that. I didn't record it last time, and then I started doing it again, and I was like, oh, I didn't record it. So what I was going to talk to you about is how we do our salt water here at the shop. So people bring their buckets in. We have buckets for you. Come get fresh water, RO water, or mix salt water. It's not the ocean water. It's We mix it ourselves. So basically what we do is, so fresh salt. Let me turn the pump off just so you can see a little better. So basically, as you see right now, you see the salt water, it comes down, goes into the pump, pumps it up and back. So that's how it is set up right now. To get the fresh water, this is RO water. This is actually our top off for the uh, fish system. It's our RO unit here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that close that probably should have closed it first but it's a little late for that now so i'm gonna close that i'm only gonna turn on a little bit because it's basically already at the top turn the pump on the pump is now pumping fresh water from there and into there you let it go for a bit that's just the our our unit kicking on because that's how the system set up. So now we're going to close the fresh water. I'm gonna open salt water back up. So now it's a closed loop. So we're gonna turn the pump back on. So now instead of pulling out of the fresh water, we are just cycling it back in. 
So now I'm gonna take our Instant Ocean Reef Crystals and I'm gonna pour about four bags in. So this whole drum is like 500 gallons. Uh, there was already about, you know, 200 gallons in there. Uh, probably even less than that. It's probably only about 150-ish. So I'm gonna put like three bags in there to start. Probably it's gonna be at least four probably, but I'll put three bags in there to start, measure it, see where we're at, gauge it from there, and yeah. So now I'm gonna let that circulate through the pumps, go through it, just let it keep mixing for a bit. Um, probably go do something else, I don't know what. Um, so we'll probably come back in about 10, 15 minutes and see where it's at. I had a customer come in, so it's been about 30 minutes probably since I put the salt water in. So uh, or put the salt in the water. So I tried to get the, the camera to go through the refractometer, just wasn't working. Um, we're at like two one two two, so we put another bag of salt in. Um, maybe that should probably do the trick. So I, I know I'm trying to do this as much as vlog as possible, but since we don't have Frag Friday anymore, I'm gonna do a little plug. I'm gonna do a little plug for the store, just so you guys can see what the store is like a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna show you a price of a specific coral. Here we have our. Wait a second. That's better. Purple monsters. Try to get it to focus. It's hard holding the lens in one and the camera in the other. Really bad quality, I know, but I'm just gonna say one thing. That's for the frag, people. For the frag. Not for polyp, but for the whole frag. So I'm gonna to try to do that as little as possible, do these plugins for the store, but it, it's still a business. Like we are a store, we're trying to make money. So Purple Monster is the whole frag for 70. If you know your corals, you know how good of a deal that is. Uh, we have it at that because we can grow it. I mean, we're growing it. Um, and also if like we get one, like if we put, say we put a polyp on one frag, we're gonna sell it per polyp and then it sprouts three polyps on that frag before it sells. If we were gonna already sell it for a certain amount, like we're not gonna raise the price more because it grew some. Like we were willing to get rid of it for so much. So we're just gonna keep it at that. So if you get two polyps, you get seven polyps, 10, 20, whatever. However much is on that plug, that frag is $70 for the purple monster. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's vlog. I know another long vlog. I'm sorry, but just I, I might start doing two videos a week. Let me know in the comments what you think if I should do two videos a week, uh, make them a little shorter. Just a lot happens uh, more than I expect that I record. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this week. I got our invert shipment. I got a couple fish in there. Actually, nothing crazy, crazy. Uh, actually, a yellow belly hippo. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, post notifications on. And I'll see you next week. See ya.